Welcome to Sunseen Cyanide, a podcast in which me, Billy, and my co-host, Lauren, re-watch and review Death in Paradise from the very beginning. One of us has never seen the show before, and the other has watched all 11 series. We will be able to solve the murders, stand the heat, and most importantly, stay on topic. This is a recap review show for Death in Paradise, um, starting from the beginning, uh, all the way back in series one, which um, originally came out in 2011, so that is over 10 years ago now, which makes me feel old, because yeah. I first watched this on the TV. Yeah, same. Episode one is entitled Arriving in Paradise, and stars Ben Miller as Richard Poole, and Sarah Martins as Camille Bourdet. Um, I mean, what did you think? Um, overall, I, I did enjoy going back to the roots of the show and like figuring, finding out like Mm. what's, why does, why do all the detectives live in that cabin and like, oh, like just like the dynamic of the Mm. the police station and everything. It was so interesting to, um, go back because the show has been on for 10 years now to go back and see kind of episode one because it was so different. Yeah. It was in a weird in a weird way because it was still the same show, but like everything was Yeah. It just like you know, like yeah. the way it was even filmed was different. <laughs> yeah, it was just completely different to how the episodes are now. Mm. So it's yeah, it was it was quite refreshing. Mm. I mean, I didn't I don't think I'd seen this episode since it probably aired on television. Yeah, same. Um, so I kind of knew what was going to happen going in, mm. but uh, it did surprise me. Yeah, same. it did surprise yeah. me because I think as an episode one, obviously spoilers ahead. <laughs> yeah, um, it's quite a epi- the 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 murder and the kind of the the kind of the way the episode plays out. Mm. It's kind of a ballsy move for yeah, an, a, for for an episode, episode one of a series. Yeah. I mean, and you could really only do it in an episode one of a new series. Yeah. I think I think it was good. That's the yeah. one thing I did remember. The mm. the only thing I did remember is obviously we can say it is <laughs> that the murderer was a police officer yeah. in the station. I remembered who the police officer was, but I couldn't remember why she wasn't in episode two because I remember bits and bobs of, epi- of episodes of episode mm. two, but I couldn't remember why she wasn't in it. And then it turned out, oh my god, she's the murderer. Whoa. And and that's such like a. I mean, it's such a weird thing to do because we aren't we aren't really introduced to the secondary character of Camille, no, like at all. Yeah. So it's quite it's it's it is quite interesting that it's they, a really it's a re- it's that. really interesting. I yeah. think because I don't think that's done on any other no. other detective show. No, I don't think I've I've seen that on any other detective mm. shows. It's quite quite unique in that sense. I mean, in general, I think Death in Paradise is quite a it's quite a unique show in and of, in of itself, and I'm quite, mm. I'm quite, I am quite excited to go and look back and, uh, yeah, and watch it, yeah. from the start, mm. and look at all the other episodes that I haven't seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So to clarify, I have seen the show, mm. and Lauren, yeah. hasn't seen the show. I've I watched the first two episodes when they aired, and then I just never touched it after that. Yeah. So I'm kind of the fan. You're kind of the, the newbie. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, I think it's good. I think it's a good. It's a good show. We got got a lot of podcast episodes <laughs> out of it, because um, there is uh, eighty nine episodes. Yeah. So quite meaty. <laughs> quite quite meaty. I mean, for me, Death in Paradise has. Uh, it's that show that like, because obviously it came out in two two thousand eleven, hmm. which would make me nine. When it first came out, yeah, yeah feeling old, yeah, no, I um, too. And it was one of those first shows that, like, um, I watched like with my like parents mm. post Watershed. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because it's on at nine. Yeah, post yeah. Watershed. Um, wow. That made you made me, and not f- made you feel adult, but like made you feel yeah. like, oh, this is a grown up TV program. Yeah. Mm. Seeing what the show has become. <laughs> 
I wouldn't say it is as much adult mm. as like Midsummer Murders, for instance. Yeah, or like a Vera, yeah. or even a Line of Duty. Yeah. Uh, but these first couple episodes, they're uh, dark. Mm. Yeah, I and that's not just yeah. the lighting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really view it as like an, an adult thing, but I feel like I'm like an exceptional case because I grew up watching Midsummer Murders with my grandma when I was like six. Mm. So probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, like detective shows have always like, it's just one of those things that like always watched. Yeah. Every time I went to my, like, my grandma's house, you'd come in and the TV would be, it'd be like mm. ITV3, yeah. Poirot, Marple, <laughs> Rosemary in Time. Yeah. You know the the you know the yeah. like murder she wrote. I mean I don't even I don't yeah. think it was murder oh, she wrote. I, I, I that's the kind of program. That as well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Episode one: Arriving in Paradise. When a British policeman is found murdered in a locked room on the tiny Paradise Island of Saint Marie, Detective Inspector Richard Poole is sent to investigate. He's the perfect man to solve the case. Unfortunately for Richard, he hates sun, sea, and sand. So that's the synopsis. We should probably get to recap in. Yeah. As this is a recap podcast. <laughs> um, so the episode opens, and I've got a question for you. Mm-hmm. This rando guy is arrested and put in the set ce- in the cells. Yeah. And he's got a speaking part, so he mm. is a character. Yeah. Did you think he had more to do with the episode? <laughs> because I certainly yeah. did. A little bit, yeah, because like he had a speaking role, and like they they kept him throughout the episode, so like you would expect him to be like a part of the plot in some way, and then he wasn't. <laughs> it was it was crazy because in yeah. a later episode of Death in Paradise, this would fully be like he'd be involved yeah, in the case, definitely, and yeah. it was just this guy who was just like there yeah he was just like chilling in the cell I kind of like that though because like you do expect other people to be in the cells as well as mm, like totally it gave it a b- yeah it gave it a believability yeah I don't know if it, it just feels it felt so different because there was like a, a kind of an atmosphere it gave it kind of an atmosphere of like mm. real life almost yeah that like that and like the goat Mm, yeah <laughs> it felt very yeah because i was expecting the goat to be involved as well somehow yeah, I, don't, I, mean, I don't know how because it's a goat but <laughs> it felt like you know the fact that he was calling the goat so maybe that had like yeah. that'd be something that came up later yeah but um it didn't it was really just there to serve as setting the scene yeah and i think it did that yeah it really, did really, really well good. That, yeah <laughs> um and yeah. like it, it kind of it did kind of introduce us to like our our victim as well. Cause oh like, yeah, I mean yeah. I totally forgotten that the first victim was yeah a police. <laughs> I was like really was surprised. Yeah, I was okay. like, oh my god. Yeah. They just killed off. Yeah. The... So like a detective dies and a police officer's the murderer. I know. Like... <laughs> See, for an episode one, what got me was it is such an ingenious thing to do because you can only do it in an episode one. Yeah. But. It's almost, so, not to skip ahead or anything, but it's very dark because it's about people trafficking yeah. and police corruption. Mm. And that's your episode one. That's like Yeah, that the, is a really ballsy move. <laughs> ballsy move. That's like, set, you, cause you're setting the tone. That's where yeah. you're setting the tone. Yeah. And like, as we know that now Death in Paradise is more like, it's, with a happy, sunny yeah. murder show. <laughs> and like episode one is like, Police corruption, <laughs> murder, human, human trafficking. trafficking. <laughs> it was weird. It was a weird move. Yeah. Yeah. So this obviously is to illust- uh, to introduce us to um, obviously the police characters mm. of uh, Dwayne and Fidel, yeah. who we will be following, and also Lily and Charlie, who we do leave in this episode. Yeah. Anyway, so at this party. In which we see Camille appear for yeah. the first time, sneak in. Mm. An alarm sounds, and that means the panic room has been sealed. Yeah. Uh, we go to the panic room uh, to find 
the dead body of Detective Charlie Hume. Yeah. As an opening murder setup, hmm. how are we feeling? Um, yeah, I was quite shocked because I, I didn't, I, I saw him in the police station. I was like, is he the detective? And then I, and then I realised he was dead. And I was like, no, he can't be the detective. They can't have mm. killed him in the first episode. Mm. What? <laughs> and I was just, what? <laughs> I mean, it's shocked yeah, that I they was, decided to do that. Mm, I mean, lot, lot, lot through mystery, very Jonathan Creek. Yeah. As like an opening murder, I think mm. it's, I think it's a pretty, pretty good one. Yeah. Um, obviously compared to others that we've seen. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> mentioning no names, series eleven, episode one. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I want to jump ahead again, not mm-hmm. to jump around. Not yeah. episode one jumping around. Yeah. <laughs> um, what annoys me, and it will annoy me as we continue to watch this, mm. in TV shows, when someone is shot using a silencer... Yeah, it doesn't actually complete, silence the gun that much. Yeah. yeah, no, that's not how that works. And everyone's like, it would, she had a silencer, yeah. so that's how I couldn't she hear did. anything, yeah. You can't, even though all those people were in the room yeah, around it, she I was know, like, yeah. That is not <laughs> how, yeah, that's not how a silencer works at all. That's going to get on my nose because I know that will happen. Yeah, definitely. Every single time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Every single time there's a silencer just, involved. And it's just like, oh, I was in the other room, she had a silencer, I couldn't, I couldn't hear anything, no. No, I didn't hear anything. Same, <laughs> saying this like we're ballistics experts. I know, yeah. <laughs> talk about Richard the main character see personally I feel like I was biased from the start with Richard because I, like, I knew I was gonna like him because I like the actor because I mm. know him from Johnny English and we like joke about him being like this great agent and everything with my brother so like yeah. he's just a good actor as well in general so mm. like I mean yeah Ben Miller yeah. is obviously a very good actor a very good comic actor in mm. there yeah um the character of Richard they go in with this very kind of um, stereo, this stereotypical English man. Yeah. I'm not saying that they're all stereotypically <laughs> English. Yeah. But he he embodies typical Englishman very well. <laughs> there's like, even though he's the main character, I think he kind of grated on me, if I'm honest. Mm. In episode one, that obviously he's very like, oh, he's he's on time and like, mm. always wants a cup of tea. Yeah. And uh, I mean, even stuff like he'd be like when the commissioner um, is explaining the history of the island mm. and he's like oh the French yeah that bit that the, was like, the bits about him hating the French I didn't like that but like all the other stereotypes that he did mm. I kind of laughed at them <laughs> yeah no and obviously he is set up to be a, not the most likeable character yeah since none of the people in the UK <laughs> liked him either yeah yeah <laughs> But yeah, some of the some of the stuff is very two thousand eleven, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, it's very very dated. <laughs> very yeah. Mm. I would say though, speaking of the commissioner, didn't he look younger? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he looked a lot <laughs> yeah. younger. <laughs> yeah, well, it just shows how how long he's been I doing know, this years. show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. And also, he sounded different. Yeah. I don't know. He's he he was like, like putting on an accent. I don't know. Early on, yeah. But uh, he something about something about his voice just sounded sounded different. He looked younger. Yeah, that was. I mean, honestly, yeah. good for Don Warrington because yeah. he's had this game for ten years. Mm. And what you get fly out for your holiday every year. Yeah, he's not. He's not. Even, he's not really changed that much either. He just looks no. a bit a little bit older in yeah. like, the newer episodes. So like, good for you, dude. <laughs> yeah, you know, I will say the bit where she's riding on the horse. What was that? That was a bit, yeah. What was that? That, that was unnecessary. What was that? <laughs> yeah, that was... That was good. I think that's yeah, no. further in the episode. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, so then we established where everyone was. Mm. That she was in the shower and he, he was, was on, on the, the beach. beach. with his lover, with his supposedly. Lover. <laughs> Which is what I found weird because there are only two suspects. Mm, yeah. Mm. We find out there's actually more than two suspects <laughs> yeah, later because yeah. the murderer was not a suspect. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, did you ever... Like, I... I honestly thought it was going to be the wife. Like, you didn't suspect that it was her. No. And I don't know whether that's a negative or a positive. I quite liked it. 
Because it's just like, mm. oh, she flew she flew under everyone's radar and like you're there with everyone. Yeah. Like trying to piece it together with them. And then it turns out, oh, we were wrong all along. <laughs> Why? I, yeah, but I don't know if that's a negative or a positive. Mm. Because po- I think positive is such a it's like original move to pull. Yeah. In an episode one. Yeah. Because it plays with the audience's expectations entirely. Mm. Yeah. Because it's a character you're meant to trust. <laughs> yeah. And then... And oh, then, she murdered someone. And, and she's the murderer. And she's a people trafficker. Yeah. And just... But also, I think a negative in the sense of that you don't really see it coming. Mm. So even when it's revealed, it's... I don't know. It's... I mean, weak in the sense that I don't think... Because when they write, reveal all the facts of the matter... Yeah. Just to skip right till the end. I oh, know, yeah. <laughs> um, just skip, skip, basically, to skip to the end. Mm. When they reveal it, I wasn't like, oh, that made complete sense of connecting all the facts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did feel, I did get that a little bit, but it was it was just like, oh, so that's who it was, <laughs> in a way. Mm. I mean, there was, there was stuff there. There yeah. was stuff there that obviously... I think actually mm. did come in quite late in the episode. I did think it was a bit weird that she went straight for like the skylight on the boat, like where the the human trafficking stuff was on the boat. I did think that was a yeah. bit weird. And, but uh, she knew to straight to go straight there. And the stuff about when they started to go in like, oh, there's a corrupt police officer. Mm. Then I would be like, okay, but that's not till like the 40 minute mark. Yeah. Mm. But obviously that's how many, that's just how many shows work. Yeah. You <laughs> Yeah, you don't get But still, even at that point, I wasn't like, you know what? I bet it's her. Yeah. I think they did leave like little little bits and bobs in there to like, but it was mostly just she's not a suspect. Speaking of things I didn't believe, Hmm. like all the things that they were like, you know, uh, Lily did where they were like, oh, and yeah, she snuck to his house and Hmm. she planted a key. And yeah, that was a bit. She went to that guy and she just shot him with a silencer, so it was in complete yeah. silence. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You could have just explored them a bit more in the sense of like, you do. There's no setup for like, she hid the key. Yeah, no. He just finds a key in his shower. Just, in his shower. Yeah. So naturally, we would just believe it. Yeah. There is nothing to suggest that she planted that it. She there. planted it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the suspects. Hmm. All three of them. Mo- they've got motives. Yeah. No, because really there are only two suspects. Yeah. So let's do the first one, which is James, right? Who mm. actually turns out to be actually part of it. Yeah. Um, did you ever suspect him of being the Um I did, yeah. I I thought of like the whole cliche, oh, she's having an affair or something, because <laughs> mm. like that's usually a plot point in these episodes, really. Mm. Is that someone's having an affair with someone else? I mean, he was so, having he yeah. was having uh, an affair. <laughs> yeah. And she did find out. Yeah. And she was and having an she affair. She was also having an affair. And, and he found out <laughs> yeah. as well. So, yeah, more for him, and then yeah. also the the trafficking bit as well. But <laughs> mm, you're trafficking. <laughs> yeah. um, just a side note, trafficking. Yeah. I mean, I never really thought. I, I don't know. I never really thought it was him. Mm. If I'm honest. Yeah. Mainly because they put so much emphasis on it being him. Mm. That's why I suspected the wife, because like, it's usually. But I mean, they also put equal emphasis on it being the yeah, wife, since she was the true. one that gave him the code. True. And she had a shower. Yeah. Just before, the uh, the gunshot mm. was heard. True. So I mean. Honestly, though, as suspects, they were pl- pretty unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> I found it a bit weird that, like, when he said that he was with his lover on the beach, that they didn't ask who it was so they could question and, like, corroborate mm. his uh, alibi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was a bit weird, but... Yeah, I mean, totally. Yeah. Um, it felt like there needed to be more characters. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I know you have to introduce us to all the police officers. Mm. But at least make like the butler give him a motive. Yeah, because like I mean, it is, it is a bit weird to just have two two suspects. Especially when it's, it. there's a party. Yeah. And so it could have been anyone at that party, really. I know yeah. they like they they said they ruled out everyone at the party except for Camille. But Camille. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, let's talk, let's talk about Camille a bit more. Um, mm. She's not really introduced as a character in episode one. Yeah. Um, I don't know. My view of the episode is more hazed, I guess. Mm. Since knowing that Camille was going to be... Like, I just knew that that was... Yeah. Oh, there's the sergeant. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I was watching it back when I was nine. <laughs> whether it was like, well, yeah, I believe that she's a suspect. Yeah. See, I, I, did, I obviously didn't remember her. So, yeah. like, I was like, oh, it might have been her because she was at the at the house and mm. she wasn't dressed like a cleaner so mm. yeah so I mean that whole cleaner thing was a, a tad weird yeah that was and a bit I, weird yeah. that was another thing that we were playing on the, the kind of the British stereotype but like knowing that he was that um the Hume was investigating um Lavender and about like the human mm. trafficking and stuff it, it mm. does make sense that she was at his house to like to see if he had any other evidence against them maybe i don't i don't know any other reason why she would be at the house yeah and she's also like undercover <laughs> yeah <laughs> which is then again another one of those things that's like as we were talking about before that's like so mm. not the <laughs> the you kind of the the mo of death in paradise yeah <laughs> it just felt felt weird yeah um, it, it was a bit out of place really but yeah. <laughs> and obviously then they, they find her on the boat yeah and we have a very very a brief chase brief scene, chase scene. <laughs> BBC budget chase scene yeah <laughs> in which some people jump into let's be honest dirty water <laughs> yeah and swim for a bit. Yeah, not a good typical English detective though. <laughs> no, no, he gets a boat. Yeah. Um, that was, I think it was a bit silly. Yeah, that was a bit. I enjoyed it. It was a bit. Silly. Yeah, it, it was. It was great, but <laughs> it made me laugh. Mm. Which means everyone spent the rest of the episode pretty much just wet. <laughs> Actually, no. Before we talk about the ending. Let's talk about the B plot. Okay. We haven't really discussed the B plot. Really, the B plot is the A plot, which is introduce <laughs> the characters. Yeah. But the B C plot is <laughs> the luggage. Mm, yeah. Which is interesting because this part of the show, I think, has evolved. Mm. Um, it has evolved more in the sense that it was the thing that was like the novelty thing that actually solves the case. Yeah. Whereas in the in like the future now it'll be like oh they find like a piece of bread at the crime scene <laughs> yeah. and it turns out that we have to connect it to Hansel and Gretel and blah blah yeah. blah. Whereas it was <laughs> it was his own personal experiences mm. that influenced it, which was what yeah. made it different. Yeah, what made it feel so different. It was quite, I think. Yeah, that was quite interesting. Yeah, that it oh. was his suitcase that was the key mm. to um, key to solving the mystery. Yeah. The mystery being that Charlie Hume was alive when he went into the, yeah. the panic room. And then when Lily came in to check the panic room, she shot, shot him, him with, with a silencer and then swapped the book out. Yeah. For an episode one, I think it's quite, it's believable. Mm. Like we haven't said that a thousand times. Yeah, but not yet. <laughs> it's a good first episode. It was a good first, I mean, it was a good first episode. Yeah. But you know why wouldn't you come back and remove the book? Just remove the book. I know. Why would you leave the book at the crime scene? Mm. So he makes... Uh, I think she said she was going to come back for it and then she just never did. She came back and <laughs> shot a man. Yeah. Why couldn't she <laughs> leave the book? I don't... <laughs> yeah, exa- exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. That was a she bit... let she swapped the box out so that she didn't get found out because we didn't want the police to like look in the book. And but why wouldn't you just come stuff? back later? Because all the times they came to the house, yeah, and just dispose of the book. I don't, I don't know. Like throw it in the sea. I can't. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so we find out it's her, and mm. she's arrested, um, in a pretty big twist, I think. Yeah. Um, and uh, Richard solves his first case. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know what we haven't mentioned, which I think we should talk about, mm. is that this first episode, and I think it does continue throughout the series, the use of the music and the the, the, the cinematography and all that, mm. also is used to like tell you who the killer is yeah. or the motives. Mm. 
I mean, the main thing is her ringtone, which plays throughout the <laughs> yeah. episode, is I shot the sheriff. I know, yeah. Which, <laughs> a bit on the nose. Which was so on the nose. <laughs> yeah. The, knowing that it was her throughout the episode, every time her phone rang and it go, I shot the sheriff. <laughs> Um, there was like, oh, right. I mean, that was that's the big evidence, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's not even evidence. It's just the show going. It's, Look it's over this there. person here. <laughs> um, but I mean, even at that, like the, I don't know, just the way it was shot was so different. It mm. felt more dynamic. Yeah, I quite like. Or the it. shot of them like through like palm leaves. Yeah. Or, or like walking through the market, it mm. felt it gave the island more character. Yeah, like you could see that it would. The island was like there were people living there and everything. Obviously, I, I still love the modern watch, but it feels mm. more flat. Yeah, flat like it's a background, mm. whereas it felt more of a character. Yeah, in its own right, the mm. island because like uh, they were all like interacting with like all the crowds and stuff through mm. the market and everything. Maybe maybe that's a COVID thing. Maybe. Probably is, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway. So. If you had to rate this episode, what, and what's our, what rating scale are we doing? We should do it out of 10, just to make it. Out of 10? Are we doing yeah. like, well, I don't know, like 10 murders or whatever? <laughs> 10, 10 police badges? Yeah. 10 coconuts? <laughs> Ten, ten cases bloody solved. Knives. Uh, I don't know. Ten. Uh, ten. Ten silenced pistols. <laughs> ten. How many silent? Oh, how it. many silenced pistols out of ten <laughs> would you give this episode? Um, probably like a solid seven or an eight. I quite enjoyed it a lot. So. It was. In, it was. It was really enjoyable. Actually, yeah. I think I'd agree with you. I'd yeah. give it. I'd give it a seven mm. because it was so fun, but again, yeah, slightly, slightly didn't get me there to the end. Yeah. I don't think it was feasible enough to, to solve. Mm. Uh, I mean, you know, if I couldn't do it now, I definitely couldn't do it as a nine-year-old. Yeah, no, <laughs> definitely. And not. there was, you know, a couple of things about him hating French people and that. Yeah. Uh, that didn't, appre- didn't, didn't really appreciate those jokes, but I, I, I enjoyed all the mm. other stereotypes that he did. Oh, yeah, all, the, ser- all the stereotypes. Yeah, were, they were great. Just not, I'm not a great. French hater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I enjoyed it. It's the first episode. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was very enjoyable. Well, I think that's it for this week. Yeah. I really enjoyed watching that first episode. Mm. Yeah, it was really yeah. good, yeah. And I can hope I can edit this into something usable. <laughs> yeah, fingers uh, crossed. Anyway, so next week, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going uh, to see a murdered bride. Are you looking forward to next week's episode? I am, yeah. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks like an interesting yeah. murder. Mm-hmm. I also vividly do remember the image <laughs> of a bride being shot with yeah. a harpoon. I don't remember the bride. I do remember... Um, a dead woman on like tiles in a room somewhere i think it might have been a bathroom or something thank you for listening thank you bye bye The intro, the theme song. Mm. You like it? Um, yeah. <laughs> it was, cool, yeah. right, move on. <laughs>